the edge. Jockey Tracy Allen seemed to have it all. She was an up-and-coming star at the track, living out her childhood dreams. From the time she was about eight years old, that's all she talked about. I want to be a jockey, I want to be a jockey. Atop the mounts, the young jockey seemed invincible. No one could imagine the trouble looming ahead. Philadelphia Race Park. And they're off. On the inside armband breaks well. Midnight Marathon with good speed. At the break, Tracy, on board Midnight Marathon, drives hard toward the front of the pack. And her agent, Lou Venuzzi, cheers her on. He seemed to me like he was traveling good and was going to get around there very good. Midnight Marathon now spreads clear by two lights. But just seconds into the run, disaster strikes. Number five, the leader, Midnight Marathon, unseating Tracy Allen while on the lead. Tracy falls from her ride and into the path of the oncoming horse's thunderous hoofs. Again, Tracy Allen down, and uh, Tracy remains down on the track. Tracy went flying over, over his head. Tracy hit the ground. He bounced on the ground maybe two or three times. Her body crumbles to the track. She loses consciousness. It's unbelievable. It, you can't imagine watching your child, my baby, get banged up and beat up and tossed around like a little rag doll. I thought the worst, and I didn't want to think the worst. You can see Midnight Marathon appears to get spooked and pulls up. The sudden stop throws Tracy from the saddle. The jockey trailing her has no time to stop his horse. Tracy is alive but she's badly injured. She had a big red bruise on the side of her face, the shape of a hoof print. Broke a little bone above her eye, and it broke her back in two places. In one horrifying instant, not only is Tracy's back shattered, so are her dreams of ever racing again. One doctor did tell her no more riding. Because if you break your back again, you could never walk again or you could be killed. But Tracy has already made up her mind. After two years of rehabilitation and training, Tracy returns to Philadelphia Park to tempt fate once again. But again, fate will not be kind. And they're off. This time atop April Fest, Tracy waits patiently to make her move. Blackhawk stream on the outside with April Fest in between horses. But just as she hits the halfway mark, the unthinkable happens. Top of the stretch now, Blackhawk stream. And April Fest in tight air, and April Fest has gone down. April Fest stumbles, and then all 1,200 pounds of the mare come crashing down on top of Tracy's 90-pound frame. It's too much for this mom to believe. This accident even looked worse than the other, if you, because the horse's whole rear end flipped over, and it looked like it landed right on top of her. April Fest and Tracy Allen Elliott down on the racetrack. The problem starts here. The jockey on the outside, whipping with his right hand, and the jockey on the inside, whipping with his left, both drive their horses inward. Tracy gets squeezed out. I had a lump in my throat, and um, the situation looked very, very bad. It didn't look good at all. A second devastating fall in as many years. It's difficult to believe one jockey could cheat death twice. But miraculously, Tracy does. No one wanted me to ride again, but I still had it in me. I wanted to do it again. Tracy recalls the two worst rides of her life. I just remember saying, oh, when I, when I was going off. Come to find out later, people were telling me the horse was a little bit of a wacko like that in the morning. And I said, well, now you tell me. When I rode April Crest, I was very excited. I thought we had a great chance. And then they pinched me. I was right behind their heels. I just said, please, nobody run me over. <laughs> That's about it. No one did, thank God. Fortunately, neither of the horses were injured. But after two close calls, Tracy wisely decides not to tempt fate again. I guess after that accident, I decided I didn't, I didn't want to ride again because I don't want to go for strike number three. In this business, jockeys get paralyzed, hurt, and killed all the time. It's a very, very dangerous business. When she finally said, no, I'm not going to ride anymore, I was elated, very elated. Although Tracy's racing days are over, 
Each and every day, she's grateful to be alive. Why did I survive both accidents? I don't know. Very lucky. I'm very fortunate. 